and out in Thousand Oaks, it's coming to the Cobbley Theater on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, two performances, 4 and 8, and then Sunday afternoon at 3. It's just an absolute hoot. Uh, great for kids. Go to ScrewTapeOnStage.com, and you can see a little video uh, vignette of Max doing it on stage. And just it's just delightful. Max, one of the things I wanted to ask you, because, of course, huge student of C.S. Lewis here, uh, he dedicated this to his buddy J.R.R. Tolkien, and they were fast friends, right? They were great friends, uh, beginning from uh, when he joined the uh, English department at Oxford uh, in the mid twenties. Uh, they were uh, uh, they could they they critiqued each other's works. In fact, uh, Tolkien's on record saying that he would never he would never have finished, let alone. Uh, had published The Lord of the Rings without the act that he had, and, and of course he read uh, all his stuff to Lewis. Lewis read his stuff to uh, Tolkien, and uh, interestingly enough, Screwtape Letters was uh, dedicated to uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Okay, so it's Tolkien, not Tolkien. Well, that's how that's how Douglas Gresham right. pronounces uh, the name Tolkien, and I think that's pretty, that's a pretty good source. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 The, uh, the C.S. Lewis's grandson or stepson? Which one is it? Stepson. Yeah, his stepson. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's that's right. Well, that raises a whole other one. I'll bet you've heard from professors of literature who are scholars of C.S. Lewis that have come to see your performance. And what do they tell you, Max? Well, the, 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 the thing that, that I love the most, it's, it's probably the highest praise, is that we respect the work so much and that Lewis himself, you know, in their minds, in Doug's mind, in the scholars' mind and the, that have uh, lived with Lewis for a long time, uh, they say that Lewis would be very, very pleased. Oh. And that's, uh, I don't think there's any higher compliment than that. All right, so let me try to embarrass you now. So okay. share, share some of the letters and emails and correspondence that you get back from people that have gone <clears throat> to see you do the screw tape letters, and, and their lives are changed. God intervenes and, and changes their life. Well, you know, that's, that's, that's very, very interesting because we do get letters. I do not save them so that I can rehash them in such a way. But we do get those letters where people have, have been really convicted uh, and people have, uh, have had an opportunity to uh, bring a friend to see the show and therefore have a great opportunity to talk about spiritual things and begin, begin the process to conversion. I think the, the power of the arts is to, is to open up that conversation to, you know, in, in, in the theater world that I live in, the, the first thing that, uh, that I have to convince the typical New York theater artist that I, uh, I may be interviewing for, you know, a design position or something is that I'm not crazy. <laughs> you know, that's the assumption that uh, intelligent, creative people are not Christians. Yes. And so the important thing is to con is not to convince, to show them that this is, you know, this is the, the, the deepest, most profound, most insightful thing in the world. And if you're going to spend any time in this, it's going to impact you. Well, and and that's just, this was Lewis's model of evangelism, right? And and it's uh, it's an important and it's and it's a model. Uh, I'm suggesting this model as as the appropriate model for uh, artistic types who I'm in contact with a lot, with uh, academic types, with media types, because they're very skeptical of uh, of uh, you know what's your what is your alternative purpose here? Yes. You know, this is a this is a, a will to power. You convince me of your world worldview, and all of a sudden I'm you know involved in your cause. Well, There's tremendous uh, resistance to that. So we want to break it down and make it not about that. 
Well, and Max, I want people to understand, you're not just the guy that plays Screw Team. Uh, you, you run an entire uh, no, theater uh, troupe. Our mission is to present theater from a Christian worldview right. that is engaging to a diverse audience. And the key is it has to engage them. And and, uh, and we, we love that because it's active. It, it takes down that that uh, sense of I'm going to put my I'm going to put my uh, uh, my resistance up, you know, because I'm going to a Christian event, you know, I, I, that people are going to impose their will on me. Uh, that's uh, when you engage someone, you that's just out the window, right? And that's important to that, uh, and that's why we we don't do these in churches. We do them in the you know the best uh, venues that we can get into. Uh, and uh, it's uh, and we and I really want your listeners to feel free that if you're talking to a colleague, uh, a brother, sister, parent, uh, uh, a friend, say you know let's do something cool this weekend. Right. And uh, and then so what do you think of that? You know and boy it really opens up some really important conversations. It says you know and and you can have a conversation like the man in the British Museum, yes. but not let screw tape take over. Yes, absolutely. And that's what that's my bottom line. In, in of course having you on is I want people to of course read screw tape. By the way, you obviously have the book there too, and you sell a whole gazillion of them afterwards, right? Well, it's it's true because the play is more accessible than the book. Right. Uh, but one of the things that we've noticed, and one that's very very pleased about, is that it encourages the play. Really encourages people to get into the book because so many people have tried it's not an easy book to read we we say that up front you know the the language is is a little is a little dense so people need a little window into it and we give them a, a, a quite a big window into it so now i get it now i know how to read it so i this time i'm not going to give up and uh, and so it's i'm very very encouraged by how many people have who have started the book after they've seen the show, they've gone back. They've gone back to it. I mean, it's it's such.